Hey guys, not done one of these for a while, so I thought I'd uh, bring you to a new edition of Meet the Fleet, which is a little bit bigger than the last time you saw it. So remember the old uh, setup they used to have where the engine shed was at the other end of the cupboard where you're looking at now? Now we're looking at an overview of the engine shed area, which has changed a little bit. A few more bits and bobs added to it, coaling tower there, ash plant, and a few more locomotives. So let's introduce you to a few of the new locos we've got. One that everybody knows. A4 Pacific Mallard. And the next one is A4 Pacific Sir Nigel Gresley. Followed closely by an A3 Pacific Flying Scotsman. And behind that, a 9F Evening Star. And let's not forget in Britannia, which is there. Another A3 Pacific is called Mary Hampton. On the turntable we have an 8F 280 freight locomotive and just behind that we also have another 8F 280 freight locomotive. Behind Mary Hampton we have a Duchess, Duchess of Hamilton, which is a 464, 462 locomotive, beg your pardon. Beyond the ash plant we have a 9F there, 280, sorry beg your pardon, a 210 locomotive. And that is an Ivert class locomotive. On the side of the ash plant, we have another 9F. And in the yard, we can see a Southern class Q1. An 060 uh, Panion tank locomotive. Deltic DP1 prototype. Another Deltic there, which unfortunately doesn't run. A static class A3 Pacific. A Ginty. We have another Ginty. Coming around to this side, we have a 262 tank locomotive with another 9F there and the 9F just inside the shed. Front of the shed, you can see a 9F210 over there, another one, 9F there, another 9F there, another 9F there. I kind of like 9Fs to be fair. Another one there, and if we lift the shed, without breaking anything. Inside, there are some more 9Fs, but on the back there, we see a 280 austerity locomotive, which was built for the War Department. Uh, over 900 of these were built, and I think about two survive. So they're pretty rare in the real world, but on model form, they're okay. We have a crane there, which you've seen before, and we have varying other coaches and wagons and varying things. Uh, this is an ash plant. So when locomotives wanted to get rid of the ash from the boilers and the smoke boxes, this is where they would dispose of it. They would drop it into the pit there, which would then be lifted up via this bucket to the top of the ash plant and disposed into the line next door, whereby that will be taken away by wagons. This is the coaling plant. There are some other bits to add to this, uh, but basically what happens is your locomotive goes under either the first track there, or the second track there, so this can look this is some fill coal from two locomotives at the same time. And there will be a lift in this area here, which will then lift the wagons up to the top to tip coal into the bunkers inside. That's where we are. I want to get this built, um, but I'm looking for names, so I've come across with Swan Paul MPD, um, which means motive power, dep motive power Depot. Anybody got any further thoughts on different names, please let me know. Um, most appreciated because you know, it's difficult to decide on a name for some things. There are a few coaches there, so I've got a third one of those as well, but they don't stay on the track very well, so a little bit of modification needed. But again, I hope you enjoy. Uh, all these locomotives, with the exception of, I think it's two, uh, one of them being that one there, and the Deltic there, don't work. A bit of a shame, and that one there is purely a model to sit in the uh, shear legs. So there we go, that's the current state of what I want to get running. So let me know what you think of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.